Hey creators, ever wanted to make your photos look like they were shot in a Hollywood rainstorm? Well, today I'm going to show you a super cool and easy Photoshop method to create a realistic rain effect from background drizzle to front row raindrops, all without needing to get wet. All right, let's get started. First, open your image in Photoshop. Easy, right? We always duplicate the background layer. Why? So we never mess up the original. Trust me, future, you will thank you for this. Create a new layer and fill it with black. This is going to be the canvas for our rain. Total darkness. But not for long. Next, we bring in the magic. Add noise. Set it to 100% uniform and monochromatic. It's going to look like TV static, but trust the process. Let's turn that static into streaks of rain. Apply motion blur. Angle it around 70 degrees and set the distance to about 30 pixels. Boom! Instant rain vibes. Change the blend mode to screen. Why? Because screen makes black disappear, leaving only the white rain visible over your image. Here's where it gets pro level. Duplicate the rain layer twice. Rename them rain back, rain mid, and rain front. This gives us depth making the rain feel like it's falling in 3D space select rain back. Hit control plus T, make it smaller and reduce opacity to about 30%. This gives us that soft distant rain in the background. Now select rain front, make it bigger. And hit control plus L levels. Slide the shadows in from the left. This makes the front rain punchier, bolder, like it's hitting the lens. Do the same levels adjustment on rain back for balance. Select all three rain layers and group them. Control plus G. Add a layer mask to this group this lets us control where the rain shows. Grab a soft round brush, reduce opacity and gently paint over areas like the face. We don't want rain falling through the model and that's just awkward. Now for the finishing touch, create a new layer. Go to filter, render, fibers. Crank the variance to 16, strength to 15. This gives us streaky raindrop textures. Resize it with Ctrl plus T. Adjust levels again. Set blend mode to screen. And add a light motion blur.
You can keep adjusting size and position until it looks just right. Once again, mask out any raindrops from the face or main subject. Subtle details make all the difference. And there you go, and from plain photo to cinematic rainstorm. Swipe between before and after, you're officially a Photoshop Rainmaster. If you found this tutorial helpful, smash that like button, and subscribe for more pro Photoshop tricks, and let me know in the comments what effect you want next. See you in the next video.